Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use Front Row in Mac OS X Lion. Now, the Front Row is one of the casualties in OS X Lion, and Apple decided to cut it. I'm not quite sure why. I'm thinking it's because they wanted to push the Apple TV. Uh, but wh whatever the reason, it's gone now. And if you're frustrated by that, there's a way you can get it back. Now, there's three ways to get it back. Uh, the first two are the easiest, and that's what I'm going to highlight today. The third one involves a lot of different things that are just very... I don't know, not worth it in my opinion, so we're not going to go into that. Uh, but the two easy ways are if you have another Mac running Snow Leopard yet, or if you have a Time Machine backup of your Mac, and one of the backups is from when you were still running Snow Leopard. And the third way that I'm not going to talk about today is if you have a Snow Leopard installation disk, you can extract some files off there, but it involves downloading some software and digging around in the system disk, which I don't know, is it seems like a lot of work for me. And the other two ways are so much easier that I wouldn't even pay to do it the third way. So the two ways I'm going to show you today work identical to each other, the methods that you use. Uh, the only difference is how you go about doing them. Uh, so for the Time Machine backups, you're going to go into Time Machine to do it. And if you're running on Snow Leopard, you're just going to go into the Finder. So I already have the files restored, and you can see if I go into my applications folder, front row is right there. So what you need to do is you need to restore a couple different files around your hard drive. And the files are not there in line, but they are there in Snow Leopard. And I'm going to show you the files that you're going to need to restore from either a Time Machine backup of Snow Leopard or a Snow Leopard installation on a different Mac. So the first file is just if you go into your applications folder on your hard drive, and you go over to front row, uh, you're going to need to restore this from your Snow Leopard backup or installation. That's pretty simple. Uh, the next one, you're going to have to go to your hard drive, uh, Macintosh HD, and go into your system folder. And then from there, the library folder. From there, the core services folder. Let me just find it here. And in the core services folder, there will be another application called front row. And it's right here. Oh, no. Right there. So you're going to have to restore this file as well. Now, if you're in Time Machine, you can just hit the restore button. You don't have to type your administrator password. Uh, but if you're on Snow Leopard, you probably want to put in a USB flash drive. Just copy these files to the flash drive and put them in the respective folders when you get back on your Lion machine. So the next file is if you go back out into your library folder. You're going to have to go into the Launch Agents folder. And in that folder, you're going to have to find com.apple.remoteui.plist. So I'm going to go down here. So here's com.apple.remoteui.plist, and it's just a property list file. And the next file you're going to have to get is if you go into System Library and then Private Frameworks, there are the last two files in here. And they're actually the entire folders that you're going to want to restore. So the first one is backrow.framework. That's right here. And the last one is iPhotoAccess.framework. And let me just find that right there. So those two folders as well. Now, after you have all these files and you put them back in their respective locations, if you open, if you try to open front row, it's not going to work. You're just going to have to restart your Mac. And then from there, I can either use my Apple remote, or I can just click on Front Row. And a Front Row will launch for me here. And you can see it works just as it normally would. This understudy thing is a separate third-party application I installed in the Front Row. Uh, but you can see it's all working here. I can go into Movies, and I can look at the iTunes top movies. It all works, and it's all just like it should be. So that's how you get Front Row working on your Lion installation. And as always, if you have any how-tos that you'd like to see me do, especially with Lion recently coming out, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.